What? You ready? Hi, I'm standing in front of the famous Bristol, Virginia slash Tennessee state line sign that has been here, I want to say about a hundred years, uh, dis, uh, denoting State Street and the border between uh, Tennessee and Virginia. I'm standing on the Virginia side. If I were to go across the street, I would be in Tennessee. Bristol's a cool little town in that it's got two police forces, uh, two tax structures, two everythings, and that the line is drawn right down the middle of State Street. Um, Bristol takes its reputation or its moniker as the birthplace of country music very, very seriously. Um, there are murals and monuments all over the little town to the music industry, to their history. Uh, Bristol is considered the birthplace of country music because of the famous Bristol Sessions, which uh, occurred in 1920, uh, happened in 1927, uh, the Victor Record Company from New York wanted to mine some of this wonderful music here and rather than expect the rather poor musicians to come all the way to New York for taping, they came here. They brought the most modern equipment they had and in a two, over a two-week period, they scheduled dozens, dozens of talented musicians, nobodies mostly, who wanted to perform. Among them, the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers, both of, which, both of whom got their starts right here at the Bristol, uh, Bristol Sessions. Bristol has taken that more or less and run with it. Um, they're known for their music. They have their famous Rhythm and Roots Festival every September, which, in which hundreds of bands come to perform. Um, the sessions then, as music does, developed, it, it grew from there, and basically was the birth of our, country, our modern country and bluegrass music. Now, I envision my characters knowing all of this, but I don't go into it much in the books because, frankly, they're like every other hometown kid. They take it all for granted. 